Well then, welcome back to me reading the Bible, where I read the Bible. Maybe it helps you, encourage the teachers to use something new. You can talk about it in the comments too. This is going to be all of First Corinthians chapter eight, concerning food sacrifice to idols. <coughs> Now about food sacrificed to idols, we know that we all possess knowledge, but knowledge puffs up while love build, builds up. <coughs> Those who think they know something do not yet know as they ought to know, but whoever loves God is known by God. In earlier, an early manuscript and another ancient witness think they have knowledge to do not yet know as they ought to know, but whoever loves truly knows. <laughs> so there, then. About eating food sacrificed to idols. We know that an idol is nothing at all in the world. <clears throat> True. They're not. They're, they're literally nothing. And that <clears throat> there is no God but one. For if, or even if there are so called gods, rather in heaven or on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many lords, both in quotations and God, in lowercase. Yet for us there is but one God, the Father, from whom all things come and for whom we live, and there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, from whom all things come through, came through, and through whom we live. <coughs> no, this is not denying the deity of Jesus. <laughs> this has been answered so many times. <coughs> Who would say, Father, from all, from whom all things come, and Jesus Christ, through whom all things came. All things come through the Father and came from Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, it's not denying the speed deity of Jesus. <laughs> Three being one God. Three and one. Not three separate gods, that's something totally different. <clears throat> that is heresy. But not e everyone possesses this knowledge. Some people are still so accustomed to idols that when they eat sacrificial food, they think of it as having been sacrificed to a god. And since their conscience is weak, it is defiled, <clears throat> but food does not bring us near to God. We are no worse if we did not eat, <clears throat> and no better if we do. Be careful, however, that the exercise of your rights does not become a stumbling block to the weak. For if someone with a weak conscience sees you with all your knowledge eating in an idol's temple, <coughs> won't that person be emboldened to eat with eat what is sacrificed to idols? So this week brother or sister for whom Christ died is 
destroyed by your knowledge, whom you sinned against, and when you sinned <coughs> against them in this way and wound their weak conscience, you sinned against Christ. Therefore, if what I eat causes my brother or sister to fall into sin, <coughs> they're probably thinking, oh, you're not Christian, all this other stuff. <coughs> I will never eat meat again, so that I will not cause them to fall. Oh, there's a lot to go over. 